What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Giving it today with another video for you. This time though, we are playing a little bit of one of what I think is probably, you know, my favourite game going, pretty much, just because it's an easy one to come back to, Warframe. So you're watching in the background, basically the new war. Um, this is the first time that I've played it. I didn't realise at the time that when you do play it, that it locks you to the actual quest itself and you can't do anything until you do the quest overall and finish it all so you know it's just one of those things it was enjoyable so the little bit that I brought you here is the bit with the basically the the whole Archon fight leading up to the the end fights with Ballas so you've got um, you've got Amal, uh, Boreal and Nera so technically we have Flamey Snake, uh, Flamey Wolf and um, Shouty Owl. That's how I would like them to be described. That's how I would have described them myself. That's that's probably what I think would be the more user-friendly names, shall we say. So so basically, effectively, Ballas has been thinking that... Uh, think, thinking that Space Mummy, the Lotus, is, is effectively... Uh, Margulis, I think. It's probably... Well, that's the, that's the way that I took the story anyways. Um, and effectively you play as a drifter, you all know this, uh, and it's just a walk through round doing all the various bits and pieces, the shadows with you as well, um, which threw me completely the first time around when I was doing it, and um, what I tend to find with these fights, particularly with the bosses and everything, they're not massively difficult to do, they're not, they're not hard to complete in any way, shape or form, but they, it, it's almost as if the game is, is really trying to tell you a story with a little bit of interaction from you involved with it. I don't know if that makes sense at all. That's just kind of how I feel about... It's kind of how I feel about Warframe as a whole. When it comes to the grinding element of it and doing those bits and pieces, that can be a little bit more difficult. But when it comes to the sort of the more kind of story element of it, it's... Overall, it's not that hard once you work out the mechanics and what you need to do and, and kind of how you need to, to defeat, you know, like, for, for example where you're doing uh, Amal here um, it, you've just got to dodge his charge um, and also as well when he does the little spinny round howling thing and he makes about 857 million bazillion other wolves and then you have to shoot the wolf and shoot the correct wolf and you could be stood there for a little while and all while that's happening he's obviously he's regening and then you've got um, obviously the the little floaty monsters that come in while they regen health and everything and stuff like that the fight that was actually for me the easiest out of all of this was the actual ballast fight right at the very very end and the funny thing was is like just with this little cutscene section here that you're watching is that it was quite clear that the Lotus was absolutely brain fried. I don't know what Ballas had done to her, but he properly brain fried her. He was convinced that she was um, uh, she was Megalis. There was there was nothing you know that that you could do about that. That's just I think that just his absolutely messed up warp way of doing everything was it just made it very very freaky. And and yet again with Warframe they do a brilliant brilliant job of doing just exquisite cutscenes that tell the story really really well and then other cutscenes that take you to various places to do various things it just it all works really really nicely and like I said the story that it tells you for me is it's just absolutely brilliant it's really really good fun it is probably why I find this game to be one of the best if not the best games out there just because of the way that they add in the content yep you can pay money for platinum you can pay money for extra weapon slots you can do all the various bits and pieces that you need to do to you know to speed you up in the game or you can just sit and grind it to the best of your absolute abilities and just sit and grind out for ages doing certain things and trying to you know master work up everything and forging weapons and and all of that kind of stuff and leveling up the weapons and oh, it's just i just really enjoy it and it, you get to stages where you just make weapons absolutely ridiculously powerful and uh, yeah it's 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 fun like i said it's it, it is good fun it's it's a nice way to 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 escape and at, and at my age now for me it's it's more about the escapism of gaming rather than anything else and it was like I said it's just great fun and as they usually do you know you can see in the cutscene here where it's just scary 
sessions and it's annoying and it's like it makes you go <gasps> and all of that kind of stuff to, to really throw things about is just this Ballas is just an absolute madman and he's basically just completely all over the place and then they put the special face mask on him and that's where it all becomes clear for me anyways in terms of the way that I interpret the story I could be completely wrong but in terms of the way that I interpret the story it's he has seen her as Mar uh, Margalis I don't know whether or not it's that's just because of putting the mask on it's just the way that it makes it seem because obviously you know touch of the void and all of that kind of stuff it's just like I said it's just it's great fun the game is uh, some huge titties you have um, it's just the game's just really really good <laughs> I've got, you can't you can't complain like I said the majority of my YouTube channel now has been Destiny and it's like when Destiny dries up this is the game that you actually want to sit and take some time to play it's the game that, for me, that, like I said, that I enjoy, that I know that I'm going to get enjoyment out of. Yes, sometimes the grind can be really fucking annoying. Yes, I know it can be just infuriating. But to, I think the thing for me that I really, really like is in terms of the, the sandbox side of stuff and creating stuff and the UI and doing certain things to your, um, to your Warframe builds that just allow you to also just pretty much to be godlike. There's no other way of saying it. It just allows you to be completely godlike. And that's just something for me that's just absolutely amazingly brilliant. It's just really, really good fun. So, so yeah, uh, that was just my experience of New War. Fantastic. I know I'm really late to the party. I'm always really late to the party with these things. But just, it was really, really good fun. I just, like I said, I just enjoyed it and had a really, really good time. And the thing like I said that I didn't quite maybe understand sort of towards the end it's just kind of what was going on just in this sequence here obviously she's protecting her but also as well uh, quite clearly something is coming but it, it's there's there's like um, a weird version of um, of Lotus on top of this feature you'll see it in a second and it's strange as well because when you're doing the sort of the flashback cutscenes it was quite clear that there was almost like an alternate version of your character as well um, so I don't know whether or not that's that's important or not or the way that it is but I know whatever it does it just knocks her out completely um, and they you know carry her back to the chair and sit her in and you actually have the option of choosing you know do you want to be Lotus do you want to be uh, Margalis or however you want it to, to be but it's um, I chose Lotus because I'm always going to be Team Space Mummy um, but yeah it just Oh, this game's just so much fun it's really enjoyable and yet again for me like I said I know I'm, I'm I'm late to the party with it but New War how much fun how much enjoyment can you get out of that yes it was for single player but it just sometimes I think it has to be and I like the way that, that like I said that they do it that it feels like it's more of an interactive rather than it being really difficult it's more of an interactive experience when it comes to the, particularly these larger bite sized sections I don't know you might agree with me with that you might not agree with me with that who knows but anyways that's going to pretty much do it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please don't forget to click the like button if you are new to the channel please uh, also don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this um that's going to do it for this one we're out of here much love thank you for stopping by peace